Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function. You can use VLOOKUP to search for a value in your data and return a corresponding value in another column. Here, I have a list of order information. We can use VLOOKUP to find out what is the product and unit price based on the order ID. Let's find product by entering the VLOOKUP command. So here I type equal VLOOKUP, open bracket. The first parameter is lookup value. This is the value that you want to look up. In our example, the value we want to look up is order ID, and this is in cell 11. So. I have C11 type here. Then we put a comma there. The second parameter is table area. This is the reference table for VLOOKUP to use. In this reference table, order ID is on the first column. Product is on the second column. And unit price is on the third column. VLOOKUP only works if the values in the reference table are in increasing order. See the order ID here, they are in increasing order. Select the range with the reference table data. Then lock the reference cells, lock these cells by putting the dollar sign. Right, this is how you lock the cell. Then we type a comma there. The third parameter is column index number. Here, you need to enter the position in the reference table where the return value can be found. One indicates the first column. Two indicate the second column. Three indicate the third column. Since we are looking for product, which is in the second column, we shall enter two. The fourth parameter is range lookup. This is an optional parameter to specify whether you want to perform an exact match or an approximate match. Type true if you want VLOOKUP to look for an approximate match. Type false if you want VLOOKUP to look for an exact match. In our example, we want an, an exact match. So type false here. Then we close the bracket. Now that we have entered all the VLOOKUP parameters, let's complete the command by hitting enter. You should see product appear here. So for order ID 10103, the product is coconut. It basically draws from here, from the reference table. For this, this order ID, the product is coconut. Now, if I drag this down, product will appear for the rest. Now, we have found the product. Next, we want to find the unit price. Similar to just now, we do this by entering the, the VLOOKUP command, equal VLOOKUP, open bracket. The first parameter is lookup value. This is the value that you want to look up. So in this example, we want to look up order ID, and this is in cell C11. So I click C11. Then comma, the second parameter is table array. This is the reference table for VLOOKUP to use. In this reference table, the order ID is on the first column. The unit price is on the third column. Okay. 
So select the range with the uh, reference uh, table data. So the, the, the data that we need, the range is actually from here to here, where we have the order ID and the unit price. Then lock this reference table cell by hitting the function and F4 button. So you see the dollar sign is automatically keyed in. Put a comma here. The third parameter is the column index number. Here you need to enter the position in this reference table where the return value can be found. Since we are looking for unit price, and unit price is in the third column. Order ID is the first column, product second, unit price is the third column. So we enter three here as we want the unit price, which is the third column. Next, I put a comma here. Now, the fourth parameter. The fourth parameter is range lookup. This is an optional parameter to specify whether you want to perform an exact match or an approximate match type. True, if you want VLOOKUP to look for an approximate match type false, if you want VLOOKUP to look for an exact match. In our example, we want an exact match. So we type false. Then close bracket. Now we have entered all of VLOOKUP parameters. Let's complete the command by hitting enter. You should see the unit price appear here. So for this order ID, the, the unit price 10103 here is $5. Now, if I drag this down, the unit price will appear for the rest. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.